Hi, my name is Robert. This video is designed to give you step-by-step -step detailed instructions on completing the task at hand. Please read the comments in the About section of this video. It has valuable information and updates. My YouTube channel has a disclaimer video that I encourage you to watch. And please, like, share, and subscribe. I hope you find what you're looking for. Thank you very much for watching. Okay, if you got a Volvo 850 and it's a 1993, 1994, or 1995, and you're riding around with a check engine light, we call it a CEL. This video will show you how to read the codes with the OBD1 ports located under the hood. So the first thing you want to do is turn the car totally off. Reach down, pull the hood release, and open the hood. Once you have the hood open, you want to locate the OBD1 port box just behind the passenger side headlights on the US spec cars. And there's two boxes there. What you want to do is lift up the cap on the box that has A on it and unplug the jump wire from under the cap. Now, depending on what the code is, depends on what port you want to plug that jump wire in. And there's a list of ports online that you can get to figure out what your codes are. Reading the codes from this port is really good because this port gets uh, more specific codes than reading through the OBD2 port. But uh, you have two different sides of this box here. Uh, they call it the A side and the B side. Now on the A side, your a1 port is for transmission codes. Your A2 port is supposed to report fuel system errors. Your A3 port is supposed to be for your ABS. Your A5 port is supposed to tell you uh, TCU, I think that's your uh, transco controller. Your A6 port is for ignition system faults. And your A7 port is uh, a, a, com a combined uh, different various error codes. Now your B1 is for climate control. B2 is for cruise control. B5 is for your SRS. B6 is for your power seats. So I'm going to go ahead and test my A2 port. But if you want to check some other codes you would check those now that I have the jump wire plugged into the A2 port I'm gonna go inside and turn the ignition switch to the on position not to start the car but just to make sure all the warning lights are lit in the car because the car is to be in the on position to run the test so I have the ignition switch in the on position now what I'm going to do is press the button and release it. I'm going to hold it down for about a second and release it. When I release it, if there's an error code in that fuel system port, the error code will flash on that little light. And it'll have three series of flashes. It'll flash the first series, the second series, and the third series. So you have to count you have to count the flashes and record the flashes. So it might flash two, then one, then four. So that error code is 214. Then I'll need to look that code up on the internet to find out what item my computer feels that it has a problem with. So I'm gonna go ahead and test it, see if there's any codes in there. If there's no codes in there, I'll get one 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 okay here it goes I'm gonna push it and let it go and see if it flashes at me I got a four a four and a three so it does have a code 443. I'm going to push it again. If there's another code in there, it'll give me another code.
four. Three. Five. Okay, so that's two codes in there. Okay, I'm going to keep pushing this button until it has no more codes. And I'll know that it has no more codes because it'll flash one, one, one. So let's see if there's a third code in here. So I got a 1, a 2, and a 1. So let me see if I got another code in here. I got a 4. I got a 4. And a 3. So it didn't give me a 111, it gave me the 443, which is a repeat of my first code. Now once the first code repeats, I can clear all the codes. After I've gone through all the codes, I'm going to hold the button down for 10 seconds. And I let it go. Then it should come back steady again. I hold it down 10 more seconds and it should clear all of my codes. All right, this time when I let it go, I'm gonna go in the car, cut the ignition off, wait five seconds, cut the ignition back on and scan for codes again. It should give me a 111. Okay, I went in the car, shut it off, turned it back on. When I push this button, I should get a one, one, one. All right, now I know that my system is clear. So now my check engine light should be clear and all the codes in that system should be clear. So I can button this up drive the car around and see if this comes back so if you got any questions go ahead and post them uh, just quick reminder before you uh, button that up turn the key of the ignition off then come out here pull the jump wire store the jump wire and put the caps back on if you feel that this information was useful, please like it and share it with your social media friends. You can subscribe to my channel so that you will get notifications of future videos that I post. You can follow me on Twitter, and if you need to contact me directly, please visit my website. And if you have any questions, leave them below, and someone or myself will reply to them. Again, thank you very much for watching.